So I'll be presenting quizzes. I'll start by reviewing formative and summative assessment. And then, of course, I'll talk about quizzes. I'll try to answer the question, what is quizzes? Why quizzes? And then uh, some key features of quizzes. And of course, a demonstration. OK, so let's start with this one. Ito na po ba yung slide? Apo. Can someone explain to me how they got all the eyes through the small hole? Meron po bang gusto sumagot? <laughs> it started with water. They pour water. So, type lang po sa chat room kung gusto niyo pong sigutin yung question. The same. By using the ice together with the bottle instead. Okay. So, pero ice po siya before. <laughs> Nung nilagay. <laughs> Siyempre po, hindi, hindi siya ice muna. I will use. I will use the bottle instead together with the ice. Okay. So, can you use it? As formative or some of the assessment po? This question. Summative, yan. Just a while, I guess. Summative. Okay, balikan po natin mamaya. Next po. The same question po, pwede po ba siyang formative or summative assessment? Kasulat na lang po na sagot sa chat room ulit. Okay, so review po muna natin yung formative and summative bago po natin sugutin. So when we say formative, so alam po natin yung nice assessment as learning. So we, we conduct these types of assessments to help students learn. Identifies misconceptions in a timely way. So essentially, yung ano natin, Ang focus natin would be on learning, to help them learn. Whereas, when we're talking about summative, the main issue would be, or the main purpose would be to measure how much, to, uh, how much uh, has been learned by the student. Okay, so, 
yun po yung main difference or the simplest na we could differentiate. Formative is assessment as learning, while summative is assessment of learning. Okay. So the main question would be, what's our purpose? Is it for learning? To help learning, to help our students learn better? Or are we measuring what they've learned? Okay. So if we're going back to the long picture, they're actually taken from this article or online article. They're 30 hilarious fails by people who were trying to be smart. Bakit po hilarious fails? So like for the first example, uh, there's definitely something wrong with a question. Like, can someone explain to me how they got all the eyes through the through the small hole? Okay, so, just ang assumption natin is water muna, then then naging naging eyes in water. Okay. And then kahina na ba sa kung ibang may question dun sa pangalawang picture? Na they disagree kasi you don't have that for blind people. Bakit ang assumption natin? Meron po bang blind people na pwedeng allowed na mag-drive? Yes, sir. May blind people po na alam mag-drive? Yes, sir. Define blind because there is partial blindness and there is total ah, okay. blindness. So, that's a question. So, partial, partially blind po allowed? Yes. Mm, okay. So, yung braille po nung sa steering wheel, yun po yung reason doon? I think hindi po. Okay. Anyway, the, the main point for this introduction would be that sometimes the online assessments that we try, we try to make them smart, but they actually fail. Okay. So it's, it's good that we try to reflect on the assessments that we give, especially the online ass assessments. An example po nito would be yung one day only online assessment or one hour only online science assessment. So for the longest time, po, ito yung isang sinasabi namin, as much as possible, we avoid doing. In so far, in so far as, hindi po natin kontrolado yung, like, kanina po yung problem ko with the internet speed. So we would assume na yung ibang mga sadyana natin, they would also be encountering similar problems. Meron po ba kayong ibang example na, na you could think of in relation to online assessments trying to be smart but fails? Again, if you want, you could type them on the chat room. Okay, ito po sana yung goal namin or goal natin when we do online assessments. Uh, meron po tayo yung we imagine online assessments as a kind of ladder that would help our students. So we, in the representation, you have many formative assessments before you have a summative assessment. Which is, uh, one of the complaints din po ng mga sudyante with online teaching is that sometimes there's not much online teaching 
it's more like online assessment rather than online teaching. And I think ito po yung mga tools na we're going to show you will help. Kung if we're going to use them nga as as formative assessment and not as summative assessment. Okay, so it's and not everything is about grades po, di ba? Uh, being a, a student-centered, learner-centered university, of course, the main goal that we would want to, to achieve or to follow would be to be able to help our students. Okay, so what is quizzes? So quizzes is a free gamified online quizzes or assessment for every subject to play in class and at home. So you could pick an existing quiz or create your own for review for formative assessment and more. Okay, so the company is also named Quizzes. So the website address is simply quizzes.com. And it was founded. Uh, and we will assume they are probably Indian founders. Okay, so, next question: Why quizzes? First answer: It's it's because it's free. Okay, and you could engage everyone everywhere on any device, in person, or remotely. Okay. And as you would see, it's not just for schools, but also for work. And as claimed in their website, it's used by more than 20 million students in schools, homes, and offices around the world. So what are the key features? Of course, the first one, we, which I mentioned already, is that you could use it anywhere, as long as, of course, you have internet access. Okay, and then it's free. That's first feature. The second feature is that you have already quizzes there in the website. So you could use some of the quizzes which were made public. Okay, so I tried looking for like some maritime related quizzes. And based on this search, it was able to find 5,026 results. Okay, so there are many available resources already which are free. Next. So aside from using existing resources, you could also create your own. Okay. And they've updated the types of questions you could ask. Okay. So there are, at the moment, five types. So multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blank, poll, and then open-ended. So I think we have those also in our school book. But what differentiates this from the school book is that one, it's very gamified. Okay, so students, when they take the quiz, they, they really feel that it's a game. Okay, so 
uh, that's one difference. And the other one, of course, if it's outside the school book, so I think they're a bit more relaxed in relation to taking the quiz compared to like, if the quiz is on the school book and, and they know that it's recorded. There's actually one good website that's re that was recommended by quizzes that would suggest different types of uses for the questions and how we could use them for the different subjects and how we're going to be able to reach different levels in terms of thinking. Like uh, if you remember Bloom's taxonomy. So they're claiming that you could uh, reach or come up with higher order thinking skills test types okay, using quizzes. So there's one good article and that's the article that's the link. So if you want, you may read this. I won't I won't discuss them in detail. Otherwise, <laughs> we won't have time for the other presenters. OK, next. So the next question would be how can students and teachers use quizzes? OK, so there are at least three ways you could actually use it. So the first one, you could play it live, like what we usually do with Kahoot. The other one, you could assign it as a homework or an assignment. And then the last one would be solo practice, which again highlights formative assessment. So we give assessments to help them learn, to help them remember key concepts, key terminologies, and so on. So when you click live play, this would be the option. So it's either classic, team, or test. Okay, so you could play it uh, in teams or groups. They could play it individually. And they would claim you could even play it a bit more seriously. So that it's more like a summative test rather than simply formative. But of course there are considerations if you make it summative rather than just some uh, just formative. OK. OK, now if you want to use it as an assignment, one good thing about it is that uh, it's, they would claim that they have improved Google Classroom integra integration now. Okay, so to access it as an assignment, you simply have to give your students an, a code, an access code, much like much like what you have in school book. Okay, and go to the website joinmyquiz.com. So we'll we'll try that later. Okay, and and one other feature which I find helpful 
is that they have a flashcard review feature where students can review the questions and try to answer them using virtual flashcards. And then you have the option there to flip if they'd want to see the answer. So before they take the actual quiz, they could practice using the flashcard review feature. Okay. Next. So we'll, we'll try to do the actual demo. Can you see the, the screen where you have a QR code? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yes, Bob. Yes, sir. So can, can I ask you to to go to that website or uh, take a picture or not, not, not take a picture, but or look at the QR code and then access the website. Um, so if you can, if you're, you yourself can do that. But if not, then just type the URL address. <laughs> While you're doing that, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. when you go to the website, you could sign up using your Google account or any email address. But with Google, you don't have to write anything else. You, you just use your existing Google account. It's easier that way. So let me log in. So I log in with Google. OK. So when I log in with Google, immediately I'm there. And the and, uh, the layout here is actually very simple, very much like the school book. So on the left side, you have the options. Like if you want to create a new quiz, you find a quiz. What are quizzes you've saved? Reports or the quizzes that you already have. And then you also have the option to create classes. Like what I, I, I've done now. I actually created the class for this parameter. So based on the report here, there are four people who have successfully joined the class. So for those who haven't, can I again ask you to try to join? So again, the to join the class, you have to go to this website or scan the QR code.
five students. Sir, is it teacher, student? There's an option, sir. Are you? Yeah, you could you could join as a teacher. Teacher. Thank you. Sir, is that the? Sir, where the code T three six nine zero seven zero? Ah uh, yes, T three T three six nine zero seven zero. Then I just click join. Yeah, you could you, you could do that also. However, the it suggested here that match the requested format. Where am I going format. to do sir? Match the requested format. My apologies, sir. I'm not. Uh, this is my first time to use this. Quizzes. Actually, this is actually new also for us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This was assigned to me. Okay. Hey, sir Roland, like two weeks ago. Join. Match the requested format. Oh, so sad. But it's actually very easy to use. So. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Nice. There are some gamification here. Okay. Uh, we could also try the live one, which I think would be uh, a bit more fun. Okay. You could you could still do this later. So just uh, go to the website or scan the QR code or use the access code, which is T3690. Seven zero. Let's try the live quiz. So this one is actually uh, one to have a record, and then second for homework. Okay, so that you could assign uh, different quizzes for your classes. So let's try the COVID-19 quiz. So this, I didn't make this one. So it was made a month ago for university students. It has been played 1,039 times already. Okay, so to play it, I'll just click play live. And then I'll choose classic. And then click continue. And then it would ask you to again open a website. So joinmyquiz.com. And then you're asked to enter a game code, which is 96. 4359. Okay, and now I'm, I'm seeing people coming in. So we have four, five participants already. So those who want to join, again, just go to joinmyquiz.com. And then enter 96, 43, 59. So I have 12 players now, 13 players. 15 players. So let's That's wait for a few more participants. Thank you.
So we have 45 participants now. Ayan, habol pa po ba? Game na! Okay, game na. Game na po raw. So let's start. So the questions are on your phone. Still leading, Mom um, Carol, followed by Eric. We now have Mount Karen on the lead, followed by Eric. Now we have Eric on the lead. Comment is for Steve. It seems like a contest, not a quiz. 
kasi yung iba hindi nakasali ay iniwan na. So actually you yeah, sir kasi formative assessment to sir. So ano lang naman siya. Parang contest nga kaya gamified, parang game. So Ang ano naman po diyan is they could always retake it. Pero yung aspect nga po na we make it like a game, like a contest. So make it a bit more exciting. To make it a bit more fun for our students. Grading system, sir, Steve. And the position, so not just being able to answer the questions. Meron po siyang points if you answer it really fast. Tapos yun ka meron mga iba pong uh, features talaga na para mas mas it's much more like a game. Yung meron po mga like power up. Yenon. So that's why I would recommend this more as nga, as a formative assessment rather than summative assessment. So it's a way for them to review key concepts in uh, an exciting, fun way. Sabi niyo mami an fun daw. That was fun. So parang game po, di ba? Yung game naman po, talaga exciting. Nakaka-stress din. <laughs> Yan nga yung reason kung bakit misan exciting siya kasi it's also stressful. At least positive stress yun po. Sir, parang yan yung ginagamit po sa ano, no? Deped Commons. Ah, ginamit na po po sa Deped Commons. Pwede naman din po. Yes sir, yan yung ginagamit nila. Although, before po lang talagang naging famous kahot. Pero yung content naman po siya ng mga quizzes are worldwide. So they're not just from the Philippines. So, okay na po. So, let me just end by asking this question. So, can we do this using quizzes? Yes. Yung, yes. Yes. Natin ideal yes. Yes, sir. Sir, naka-enroll na ako, kaso late na ako, hindi ko nahahabod yung exam mo. <laughs> Actually, pwede po kayong humabol. Kahit po hindi siya, like hanggang hindi ko po siya ina-end. Kahit hindi po kayo sabay-sabay, kung kayo po yung pinakamabilis, tapos kayo po yung pinakamaraming tamang sagot, kayo pa rin po yung maging number one. Na, ngayon lang ako so, nakapasok. So, Ang um, problem ko, nasaan yung quiz na binigay mo? Ay, ganun po. Paano po hindi niyo po nakita? <laughs> hindi eh. Saan ba yun? Kasi nakalagay dito, find the quiz. Ah, nag, ibig sabihin ma'am, nag-login pa lang po kayo. Oo. Hindi po kayo Ay, nakapasok doon sa mismong quiz. Hindi pa. Kasi nga, na-late na ako eh. Ito muna, inuna ko. Apo. Usually, ang, ang kailangan niyo po para doon sa quiz, yung live play po. Parang ito po. Isa, isa po lang po to. Ah, sige. Joinmyquiz.com uh -huh. Tapos yung game phone niya po. 00726 Pero iba na po yan kasi uh, ito po yung screenshot. So every time po na ah, yes. mag live play, uh -oh. they're given random game codes. Ayun, sa code ko baba, babase. 
Opo. So, ngayon po, ang game code po natin is 964-359. Ah, so ito yung i-enter ko, oh. copy. Opo. Oh, sige. Thank you. Welcome, ma'am. So, ang top three po natin so far, si Ma'am, uh, si Sir Fajardo Angelo, Ma'am Carol, and of course, si Sir Roland. One start. Galing naman. Congratulations. Si Sir Paul daw, yung rato, may, <laughs> may pag-gift po ba yung birthday celebrant kahapon? Yay! Libre ang Later, snacks. Happy Virtual. birthday, Sir Paul. Virtual snacks. Uh, virtual snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's it, Sir. Sir Roland. Ayan, okay. Thank you, Sir Irvin. Good job. Thank you, sir, Irvin. Thank you, Sir 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 Ayan, uh, Sir Irvin, may mga questions sa chat. So, uh, habang nagpipresent yung pangalawang Game Master natin, paki take note na lang po yung question, sir, and then we will get back to you. Okay. Thanks, Pa. Okay, thank you. So, next, I... Ayong uh, share... Uh, stop share mo na, sir. Okay na, sir. Ah, okay. Sige. Pwede na ako mag-share. Okay. Ayan. O, diba? So, um, you've just met quizzes. So, another game-based application, katulad ng Kahoot. So, kung naglalaro kayo ng Kahoot, you would see the, the similarities na meron sila. Before we go to our next uh, presenter, let's have a short intermission. Ito muna, ito ay uh, ano, one month in the making. I hope you'll enjoy this. Ay, sorry, hindi po yan. Okay, mali ako, my bad. Wait, wait. Oops, okay, ito na. Ay, wait, wait, wait. Ay, ano ba yan? Wait lang, wait lang. I forgot to include the system system audio. Okay, sorry po. One more. One more time. Ito na talaga. Ayun siya na. Ayun siya na. Ayun siya na. Yeah, ain't tryna be cool like you Wobbling around in your high heel shoes I'm clumsy, made friends with the floor Two for one, you know a bitch fight for And two let's see, you know I always drop My first thing a girl did was a bop And the whole damn cake and a cherry on top Shook up the bottom and a good girl pop You ain't even here to party Can in the club tryna pay for Barbie I don't wanna go, go, go with the snow back then Until I touch my toes I don't wanna go, go, go to go This full of rocks and I hope I go Pick up yourself cause you know they go I choose you I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and I boss and I shine like glass I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and I boss and I shine like glass I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and I boss and I shine like glass I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and I boss and I shine like glass Yay! Galing So maraming salamat Ma'am Dang, sino ba yung nando sa TikTok? Ma'am Lani, Sir Paul, and Ma'am Shea Bakit wala ka doon, Roland? Ah, uh, masakit ang tuhod, sir. <laughs> Hindi makatayo. <laughs> okay. So, next, the second second uh, game show host who will introduce to us Game Kit. Let's welcome Miss Dang. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Po. Good morning. 
Can you see now my slides? Wala pa po. Wala po. Wala po. Wala pa po. Game kid. Hindi ko din nakita yung presentation ni Roland. Mamaya sir, ulitin po namin yung ano, yung pictures. Sir, audio lang po kanina. Ah, sorry, sorry. Ulitin ko po mamaya. Opo. Sa akin din po, audio lang sir. Ulitin ko intermission mo. Oh, ulitin ko po mamaya yung intermission. Okay po. Sige. <laughs> Sorry. Ma'am Dang. Okay. So, nakikita na po ang aking uh, presentation. Not yet. Hindi po. Wala po. Hindi po. Not yet. No picture. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yan po. Yes. Yan po. Sir, yung kita ko. Ayan po, game kit po yung topic ko for today. Yan. So bago po natin i-present ang game kit, so shout out ko lang po ang mga taga College of Science and Computer Studies. Ayan, marami po ako nakita kanina na present sa webinar natin ngayon. So ayan po, nakita na? What is a game kit? Wala pa rin. Wala pa rin po. Hindi po nakikita. Ikaw na lang dang hindi nakikita. So sir, mag-on po ako ng camera ko. Oh, very good. Para makita rin. Ayan, sir. Hindi pa po ba kita? Nag-share na po ako. Wala pa po. Kita na po. Kita na po. Ito yung shared topic ang wala. Wala pa po. Wala pa po. Wala pa po. Yung kay Sir Irvin. Nakikita po. Pinta na po. Pero wala pa po. Wala pa po. Hello po. Wala pa po. Meron na po. Wala pa. Wala pa po. May boss. Video lang nakikita ko, pero yung power win R lang po ang nakikita ko. Uy, parang na kay Sir Irvin pa yung ano, yung focus. Sir Irvin, nag-ano ka na po? Nag-stop sharing ka na? Yung previous presenter slide. Okay, naka-stop sharing. Naman po. Ulitin ko po. Ayoko nga, Irvin Ramos, sir, yung nakikita po. Ayan po. Meron na po ulit. And, okay, can I start now? Wala pa po sa amin. 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 Only you po. Wala pa si Sir Roland. Wala po. 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 Pwede na mag-e-chat. Okay. Sige, sige. Anya. Anya rin. Hindi ko rin kita ang presentation. Ma'am, sir, hindi ko rin kita? Hindi, ma'am. ER pa rin po yung nakalagay eh. Yung kay Sir Irvin. Imkit. ER pa rin yung nakalagay. Hindi, sumubra na kasi sa umbra. Ay, na ganun eh. Naghang na po sa screen ni Sir Irvin. <laughs> Ang ano, bakit nag-stay kay Sir Irvin? I-click nyo po, po yung kay Ma'am Dang. Ayan. I-click nyo po si Ma'am Dang. Nasa baba siya. Ayun, lumabas na yung game kit. Okay na po. Nakita yeah. okay na, na po. Okay. Thank you. Okay na po. Okay, can we start na po? Okay, our second tool is a game kit. So it is um, another tool uh, that can be used to classroom to introduce 
or review concepts. So if you're familiar with Kahoot, yung quizzes, quizzes kanina and quiz left, uh, mash up po siya nung tatlo. And then, um, game show din siya for the classroom that requires knowledge, collaboration, and strategy to win. So the, the typical games na meron po tayo, especially do sa mga gamers natin, normally nag po tayo ng mga points. And then yung points na yun, ginagamit natin for uh, upgrades or power-ups. So this game kit, so instead of earning points, so students can earn a virtual currency. So meron po tayong tinatawag na virtual money dito. So we're in um, the students can invest during the game to boost their score. So meron po meron po siyang shop then na available. So pwede ko yung bumili ng mga upgrades, teams or power ups. And then uh, games can be played live. So kagaya po nung quizzes natin kanina, so pwede natin siyang i-play ng live. And pwede rin naman siya as independent practice. We're in eto nga po yung uh, binibigay natin siya for uh, parang assignment. And then, so same with quizzes then, students can connect via game codes and can play in a web browser. So kahit ano po ang internet, web browser, and connected sila sa device, so pwede po silang maglaro ng game kit. And ang maganda rin po with um, uh, game kit, they can uh, they can compete against each other or collaborate in teams or as a whole class. So parang yung typical na mga games natin ngayon, so pwede po tayo magkaroon ng collaboration in teams. Like for example, yung mga MOBA po na, na genre natin, yung mga mobile online battle arena such as ML, Dota, Ragnarok, pero hindi po ganun talaga yung genre ng game kit. The genre of the game kit, the game genre of the game kit is a strategic game. Kasi marami po tayong iba't ibang klase ng uh, genre ng games. So one is um, uh, yung FPS, the first, uh, first person shooter. Uh, I don't know kung nakakapaglaro pa kayo niya. The famous FPS genre is the, the Resident Evil and the Doom na pwede pong laro and under uh, either PC or PS4. And then yun nga pong MOBA, yung Mobile Online Battle Arena such as the ML, the Dota, the Ragnarok Mobile or the LoL, the League of Legends. Yan po yung mga sample ng MOBA genre natin. And for the strategic genre, ito po yung game kit natin. So ano po yung mga uh, sample natin ng mga strategic kung nan, kung nakakapaglaro po kayo ng mga Clash Royale um, ano pa, Final Fantasy, yung tactics po na version. So, yan po yung mga sample ng strategic um, genre natin. So, game kit in classroom. So, we can use game kit as formative assessment tool nga po. Kagaya po ng introduction kanina ni Sir Irvin. So, we can create also pretest. Kung kailangan po natin ng pretest in our certain subject, possible din siya. And it allows students to opt out of some introductory assignments, choose other options like research projects or multimedia presentation. Again, GameKit is great for introductional design, game-based learning, and formative assessments. But before we po discuss or mag demo sa inyo. Uh, unlike with quizzes na, na diniscuss po ni Sir Irvin, so ang game kit po ay my three accounts. So ang ginagamit ko po ngayon, ang ginagamit po namin ka, karamihan is the game kit basic. Ito po yung free forever. So syempre, pag po free yung ating account, so limited lang yung mga features na pwede natin gamitin. So such as uh, live games, so pwede po tayo mag live games. Pwede, ta pwede po natin yung kits natin ibigay sa estudyante as assignment and then yung classes na at wala siyang advertisement and then ang hindi lang natin um uh, pwede, uh, ang hindi po available with basic yung unlimited kits currently po kapag kayo po ay nag-create ng basic or free account so ang kits available is only 5 pero kagaya po ngayon kung tayo po tayo po naman lahat ay impacted ng COVID-19 so nagbigay po Ang, 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 ang game kit ng additional 5 
na uh, kits para po magkaroon po tayo ng uh, kits na maximum of 10. And then, hindi rin po unlimited yung edits kasi kunyari may nagawa na po tayong game, yung uh, game kit game. Um, at uh, ang, nag, ang sa akin po, based on my experience, up to 3 edits lang yung pwede nating uh, gawin dun sa kit natin. And then, kung gusto natin ng audio presentations, wala po siya, hindi available. And kung gusto natin isali sa game yung mga image upload, hindi rin siya available. And the second account is the GameKit Pro. Ang GameKit Pro, by the way, kanina po pala sa presentation ko, um, the creator of this game is a high school student, si Josh. Uh, siya po ay ginawa niya lang to as project nung siya ay junior high school sa Seattle High School. Kaka-graduate niya lang po nitong 2019, June 2019. And up to now, may mga uh, versions or up updates siya na ginagawa with GameKit. For the Pro, pwede po tayong mamili ng dalawa. Pwede yung GameKit Pro, ito po ay, ang bayad niya is um, annually. So, pumapatak po na $5 a month. And then, kung babayaran natin siya per year, that is 59.88 US dollars. So that is approximately yung monthly natin, 250 pesos. Pag pro pass naman po, uh, $10. So per month naman yung bayan niya, ibibil lang tayo ng monthly. So $10 is 500 pesos per month. Pero kung, kung between the two, syempre mas makakamura po tayo sa pro kasi times two po yung rate kapag uh, nag-monthly tayo. So, everything na meron with GameKit Pro, syempre, ma-avail na natin. Yan po yung premium account ng GameKit. And then, if um, by group naman, meron din tayo. So, pwede rin tayo kumuha ng code. Everything included in Pro, kung ano po yung meron kay Pro, nandun siya kay groups. Syempre, discounted yung rate niya. And then, ang maganda with groups, meron siyang admin panel. So, sa admin panel, so, para po yung schoolbook, diba, may mga admin po doon. So, may mga nagmamanage na, of course, ng, ng GameKit groups. Um, sa nakita ko po, uh, the sample quotes na nakita ko po kahapon, kapag po school, kapag po school, uh, parang 1,000 US dollars po per year, that is 50,000 a year. Or pag department naman, kunyari po, computer studies department, maximum of 20 teachers, that is 650 US dollars. So parang 32,000 per year. So yun na lang, pag department, 20 teachers lang po yung pwedeng makagamit ng GameKit group. So yun. And then, how to create account? Napakasimple lang pong gumawa ng create, ma ma ng account kay GameKit. So, again, ang platform po natin is a website. So, uh, web-based po, wala po siyang app pa for now. So, you have to go to www.gamekit.com. So, gamekit.com. And number two, so meron po tayong iba't ibang options, how to join. Kung kayo po estudyante, later po, pag, pag nag-sample tayo ng game, so, ang gagawin lang po natin is you go to www.gamekit.com and then join game. Yun lang po. And then, um, pag wala pang account, kagaya natin, educator tayo. So, you need to sign up first. So, click lang po, sign up. So, meron po tayong uh, five easy steps on how to create an account. So, first is, you need to have, of course, a valid email address. Why valid? Um, kasi yung verification of email sinesend doon sa email na sinuplay mo. If for example, uh, ano siya, hindi siya, hindi nag-exist yung email, uh, hindi siya, hindi ka makaka-receive ng email at hindi ka makakagamit ng GameKit. So uh, kahit anong email address pwede with GameKit, you can use your Gmail, you can use your Yahoo Mail or uh, yung Office 365 account natin. And then, second is, how will you be using G uh, GameKit? So, kagaya po natin, we have to click Educator. And then, so, 3 of 5. So, you have to, uh, syempre, supply your first name and then your last name. And the password must contain at least 6 characters. So, yan po yung first 3 steps. Email. And then, what uh, type of um, user, educator. 
and then your uh, basic information. And then for 405, so find your school, so yung country, uh, choose Philippines. And then last step is the area of expertise. So dito po meron din tayong drop down list to choose from. So kagaya ko ang area of expertise is computer science, so pwede niyo pong piliin yon. And then for the grade level, pwede pong others or high school, junior high school. And then continue. So ganyan lang po ka simple yung pag-create ng uh, teacher's account. And then upon clicking continue, another dialog box will appear. So ito po yung creating your new account na makikita nyo po, kini-create na yung account nyo. And then once success ang creating of your account, automatically uh, mag-send ng email si Gip, Team GameKit. So ito po yung sample email ko. All you have to do is to verify your email. So click lang po si verify email. And then you can now use your gift kit. So kapag po tayo ay success now with the creation of your account, so this will be the look of your dashboard. So ano po yung uh, environment ng ating game kit? So napakasimple lang po kung makikita nyo ang ating uh, dashboard. So meron po tayong search for kits. So kung halimbawa marami na po tayong kits na nandito, so pwede po natin i-search yun. And then ito po yung profile icon natin. And currently, pwede po tayong mag-upgrade kasi from basic yung account ko. So if nakita mo, very useful siya in your classroom, pwede ka kagad mag-upgrade with the upgrade uh, button here. Sa left pane, so ito po yung mga pwede natin gamitin. Pero there are features here in the game kit na hindi po available for free. So sa mga premium lang natin siya pwedeng gamitin. Sa lower portion, yan po yung uh, um, settings. Yung down po na nakikita nyo dyan, the game kit basic, that is for yung gear icon, that is for the for the settings ng ating uh, game kit. And um, kagaya po yan, currently, kung may nakikita po kayong impacted by COVID-19, so ibig sabihin po, ang current new kit ko lang for now is only 5. So, lima lang ang pwede kong gamitin for free uh, account. Pero if you click the impacted by COVID-19, kasi lahat naman po tayo is affected by COVID-19. So, ang gagawin po ni GameKit, bibigyan pa po kayo ng another five kits. So, uh, maximum na po na pwede nyong gawin sa GameKit basic is 10 kits. So, yon. So, first is ano ba tong kits? So, para po siyang PowerPoint presentation, kung magpe-present tayo sa klase natin, so, di ba, um, pagka face-to-face, ang um, kadalasang ginagamit po natin for the discussion is PowerPoint presentation, Mentimeter, or kung ano pa pong uh, ginagamit nyo. So, ito naman, in a form of game. Game-based platform po siya. Ang tawag na natin doon, kits, or sa PowerPoint na, slides. So, kids are the live learning games for your class. They include all the content your students will learn in a game kit game. So, lahat po nang include nyo with your game kit uh, game. So, dito nyo po ilalagay kay kids. Okay? And then, assignment. Assignments naman, um, unlike school books, sa school book po kasi, di ba, they can upload uh, their assignments. This one, wala pong ganun kung paano sila or mag, uh, possible na makapag-upload sila ng assignment nila. But for this assignment, uh, ang gagawin niya lang po, yung mga kids natin na available, kung hindi man tayo makapag-play ng live, pwede natin siyang ibigay as homework. Ganun din. Kung meron siyang uh, grade, yun din yung magiging grade niya as part of their homework or pwedeng extra credit na rin siya. Okay? And then another one is classes. So you can add a class list or class roster to improve the live game and assignment experience and to start using seasons. Kasi po, part of game kit is you can have a seasons. Later, discuss po ano po itong seasons. Um... Uh, yan po for the classes. And then for the news, ito po yung makikita natin for the news. So basically, ang nakikita natin dyan is uh, ano ba yung uh, updates or news ni GameKit. Okay? Pero if uh, our account is ad, uh, group, 
groups yung ating account. So, pwede po tayong mag-add mag, uh, ng news dito. And then, uh, one of the edge na meron kay, kay GameKit is the Kit Collab. So, ang Kit Collab, it allows your student to create the kit. So, kunyari po, may na-create na tayong kit. So, the student can join the game and they can submit a questions to be added. So, yun nga lang, syempre, as a teacher, kailangan mo munang i-accept or reject yung questions na, na pinapasa ng estudyante, if legit pa siya or not, or, or, or hindi siya karapat dapat na i-add dun sa game natin. So, yeah, this will be the look of the Kit Cola dialog box once the student submit their uh, questions to be added. So, yan po yung itsura ng Kit Cola natin. And then, ito po yung seasons. So, when you say give, uh, give kids seasons, seasons brings the competition to a whole new level by tracking the student balance over time. So, the students can now compete in three ways. Kagaya po ng typical game. Kasi diba ang mga estudyante po natin, mas na-enjoy nila if may competition na nangyayari. Just like nga po yung mga MOBA na, na genre natin or yung mga uh, action-adventure genre na meron po tayo nowadays. So, mas, mas natutuwa sila na laruin kung, kung nakikita nila yung pangalan nila sa leaderboard, kung nangunguna sila, mga ganon. So, ano ba yung three uh, ways to compete um, yung mga estudyante natin? So, pwede ito pong game by game. So, ang um, game by game is pwede individual game na ko-compete yung mga estudyante natin on the leaderboard. Okay? And then, yung isa po is against their classmate. Tung against their classmate naman, so pwede uh, in a multiple game, sa bawa, marami po tayong kids available, uh, the students can accumulate cash on top of the season's leaderboard. So, sama-sama na po yung computation ng cash sa different games or kits na meron tayo. Again, uh, ang, ang, ang game kit po, nag-earn po tayo ng virtual currency. So, currently, ang, ang ina-accept po dito is US dollars, or, pe pero pwede naman kayong mamili. Pero wala po siyang peso for now. And then, the last way is against other classes. Kaya po meron tayong classes kanina. Kasi pwede kunyari, I, uh, ang handle ko is BIT12 and then meron din akong BIT13. So pwede kong gawin na mag-compete per class sila para at least, di ba, ma-boost din yung ano nila, yung yung uh, yung usage nitong game kit. Okay? So kunyari po um mag-start tayo ng ng session. So, click lang natin si start session, uh, seasons pala, season 1. Kasi depende kung ilang seasons na ba yung senet nyo. Okay? So, dito po, syempre, initially, the default is season 1. So, if we start na season 1, so, ito po yung magiging itsura niya, the dialogue box. So, kailangan po natin i-choose muna yung kung kailan matatapos yung season na yun. Okay? And then, um, again, kung makikita niyo po, we have here an error message, classes required, kasi prior to using seasons, so kailangan makapag-create muna tayo ng classes, yung kanina po sa diniscuss ko, or class list. Okay? And then, meron po ding locker. So with the locker, you can keep limited time game modes, play custom music, and more. Pero with the locker, so pwede lang po natin siyang gamitin premium. So mag-upgrade po tayo sa pro. Okay? And then yung last po na feature ng, ng game kit natin, yung settings. Ayan po. Okay? Ang settings po natin, yung nasa lower portion ng screen natin, yung may gear icon. Okay? So kapag kinlik po natin si settings, meron po tayong... Account information, game settings, plan and billing, help and support. For the account information, makikita lang po natin yung information ng account natin. The first name, last name, our email na ginamit, and yung account information. As you can see, sa account information po natin, ang account time is educator, type is educator, yung po yung pinili ko kanina. And yung limit ng kit natin is up to 5 lang. Okay. And then for the game settings, 
So dito po pwede nating piliin yung currency. So currently po, the default is uh, doll, uh, US dollar. So pwede rin pong mamili. Pero nung chinek ko po yan, kung papalitan kong peso, wala po siya Philippine peso. And then language, pwede po rin tayong mamili kung ano po yung language na gagamitin natin. And a Google Translate. So ayan po. Okay. And then next is the uh, plan and billing. Kasi currently nga, our account is basic lang, free. So if gusto nyo siyang i-upgrade, so nasa plan and billing din siya or kanina sa labas dun sa upgrade natin sa dashboard. So kiklik lang daw natin if we want na mag-premium, pro or pro pass. Okay? And then help and support. Ayan po, ang maganda din with uh, game kit, so, parang si schoolbook, di ba? Kung meron po tayong mga problema, kunyari na gusto natin kagad uh, solusyonan. So, meron din tayong online help and support kay GameKit. So, nandyan po yung hindi po mga robots ang sasagot sa inyo. Nakalagay po, just real humans. So, sila po yung uh, mga uh, nasa likod ng uh, help and support. So, you can check their help desk. So, ayan, simply click here and then pwede niyo po silang i-email and then pwede rin mag-suggest ng new feature if for example meron kayong gusto pang idagdag with their with their game so pwede po tayo magbigay ng new feature sa kanila and pwede rin silang i-message sa Twitter so ayan po okay eto na po start na po tayo with kits paano ba tayo mag-create ng kits okay so again, go to your dashboard. Ito po yung dashboard natin, yung sample dashboard ko. And then, ang active po natin, kits. Ito po yung kits na available ko for now. Meron po akong tatlong kits. And then, number one, apat lang naman po ang kailangan nating tandaan pag nag-create po tayo ng kits. Napakadali pong gawin. Okay? So number one is click new kit. Ayan po. Magdademo rin po ako later para lang po uh, at least familiar kayo sa mga steps natin. So, number one is click new kit. So, ayan po, click po natin si new kit. Number two, eto po yung dialog box. So, new kit. So, you have to type down the, your kit's name, the language, and the subject. And then, upon clicking next, so meron po tayong another dialog box na mag appear So, you have to choose a cover image for your kit. So, kunyari po, eto po yung makikita natin with the, the existing photos available. So, kung wala, pwede po tayo mag-search din. So, kunyari po, sinearch natin computer, automatically mag-filter mag lahat lang ng mga computer images. Okay? So, again, number one, new kit. Number two, your kit's name, language, and subject. Number three, a cover image. And then, last one, ayan na. Uh, gagawa na po tayo ng mga tanong. Yung tanong, parang parehas lang din po siya with uh, assessment natin sa school book. Pero syempre, very limited lang yung types nung questions natin. Uh, only multiple choice and text input yung pwede natin gamitin with GameKit. So, kunyari po, ayan, nag-type po tayo. Uh, pag nag-add audio po tayo, that's not available. Add photo, dito lang po sa tanong si add photo. Pero if Gusto po natin mag-add ng photos dito sa mga answers natin. I think that's not possible kasi that is a premium account. Okay? And then, so, kunyari po, meron po kayong limang tanong. Okay? Ang text input po, uh, para siyang identification. Okay? So, instead of having all the choices na makikita ng sudyante natin, so, may correct answer din doon, itatype natin kung ano yung correct answer natin. Okay? So, ganun lang din po, paulit-ulit lang, mag-add lang ng questions, add, 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 okay? And then, once you finish adding questions to your kit, again, um, in, in game kit po pala, pwede po tayong mag-create with flashcards. Pwede po tayong mag-kit collab, yan nga po yung maganda with uh, our uh, game kit, na nakakapagbigay po ng mga tanong yung mga sudyate natin. And then, kung meron po tayong question bank para maiwasan na po yung pagtatype natin dito sa dialog box na to. And pwede rin tayong mag-import from spreadsheet. Okay? So, kunyari po, nakapag-create na tayo ng mga questions. So, meron pong makikitang finish kit. Ito po. Kung nakikita niyo po sa screen nyo, so, kiklik nyo lang daw po ang finish kit. Okay? So, ito po yung sample ko na ginawa kahapon. 
Okay, ito po yung insert image kung nakikita nyo, who is the CILT's current VLE coordinator. Yan lang po yun. Pero kapag po sa mga choices, so we cannot upload images. So ayan, yung po yung sample. And then, kapag natapos na si Kit, paano naman natin siya ipapakita sa estudyante? Pag pinakita natin siya sa estudyante, kung gusto po natin i-play ng live, ito pong green button. Kung gusto naman natin siyang i-assign as homework, kung ano po yung kinerate yung questions, yun din po yung makikita ng estudyante natin. So, kiklik lang po natin si Play Live. Pag kinlik po natin yan, ito po yung makikita nyo sa screen. So, kung ano po yung uh, kinerate yung uh, kit. So, meron siyang five questions. And then, uh, kapag uh, nag-continue uh, nag tayo, so ito po yung makikita natin. So, ito po yung magiging instruction natin sa mga sudyante natin, parang kahoot. So, you have to go to gamekit.com and then enter code. So, may, uh, may code pa rin na kailangan isupply yung mga sudyante natin. And then, kapag nakita nyo na po dito, kunyari marami ng uh, nakakasok dun sa, sa laro natin. So, pwede na po tayo mag-start ng game. So, ikaw pa rin yung mag-start ng game. So, ayan. Kung estudyante naman po, mamaya po, uh, after po nito, ito po yung gagawin nyo. Kasi meron po tayong pag-game after nito. Para po matry lang natin itong game kit. So, ang gagawin po natin, um, first is, again, go to www.gamekit.com. Gamekit.com. And then, click join game lang po. Click join game. Yan po yung gagawin. Gamekit.com. And then, click join game. And then, ayan na po, ito po yung makikita nyo. Once nag-click, nag-join nag tayo ng game, kung ano po yung binigay na game code ng teacher, ilalagay lang po natin dyan kay game code. And then, join. Then, click join. So, kapag po uh, nag-join tayo, ayan na po, hindi po yan yung action yung na makikita natin kapag ka, uh, game time na. Okay. So mag-start po tayo ng game. Meron po kaming na-prepare na sample game using GameKit. Pero bago po pala 'yan, so discuss ko lang po yung upgrade kasi along the way kapag nag-play po tayo sa GameKit, meron po kayong makikitang shock. Okay? Ito ko nga po, kaya po naging strategic game ang GameKit kasi paano mo strategize na mag-lead ka sa leaderboard. So meron po tayong upgrade. Actually, meron po tayong tatlo. Yung isa doon is for ano lang, parang teams lang kung gusto nyo mag-upgrade mag ng, ng itsura ng game kit nyo. Sa shop, ang first available upgrade is ito pong money per question. Kasi nga ba diba, meron po tayong virtual money. So normally, kapag po naka, nakakuha kayo ng tamang sagot, mag-earn po kayo ng pera. Okay? So one dollar per question. Pag po money per question, again, kasi discarte mo kung paano ka maglilid. Kung marami ka ng pera, initially kasi the money po na meron tayo at hand is zero. Okay? And then kapag po halimbawa nakatama ka ng maraming tanong, nadadagdagan po yung virtual money mo. And you can only use this, the shop if may enough money ka. So kagaya po kunyari dito, itong money per question, yan po yung una nating, ito po yung madalas na ginagamit ng mga, mga sudyante natin. Okay? So, dito po, pwede po tayo mag-add kung magkano yung idadagdag sa virtual money natin sa bawat tamang sagot. Okay? Strict bonus, extra amount awarded for answering two questions correct in a row. So, familiar naman kayo with the strict bonus. So, meron din tayo niya, the multiplier and the insurance. Yan po yung mga sample. Ito po yung money per question. Kunyari sa level 2, uh, ito po, meron na kasi ako niya. Already own ko na, bumili na ako. So, sa bawat tamang sagot, mag a na siya ng $5. And then, for the strict bonus, so, sa bawat dalawang magkapanunod na tamang sagot, so, pwedeng, um, pwedeng uh, bilhin din natin siya. So, this one is only $15. So, multiplier and then yung insurance na. Okay, another uh, available sa shop, power-ups. So, ang dami po niyan. Okay, kaso yung iba po is medyo may kamahala na ang worth niya. So, kailangan medyo marami ka ng ipon for the virtual uh, currency or money. 
And then, ito po yung last, yung teams. Ang default kasi natin, ito, ito po yung tsura ng default natin. Kung makikita nyo po ba maya, kapag po naglaro tayo, ito po yung default na kulay or teams available in GameKit. Pero kung gusto nyo po napalitan, meron pong Night, Teams, Thanos, Ocean, and so on and so forth, Retro, yan. Pwede po natin siyang uh, bilhin. Okay? So, kapag po naglaro, meron din pong leaderboard. Ito po yung sample ng leaderboard. Makikita po natin yung top 3 na uh, nagwagi or nanguna sa, sa game natin. Okay? So, yun po. For my presentation, and uh, we'll proceed na po with sample game. Okay, ayan po. Nag-end na po ako. So, sa, <coughs> sa, uh, sa game kit po na na game sample. Ayan. So may mananalo po pero uh, ang awardan lang po namin ng premyo ay yung number 1. So kung sino po yung mananalo dito, meron po kayong marereceive na na item, ipapalalambog ko po 'yon. <laughs> Ayan po. Sige sir. Si Sir Roland po yung nag-prepare ng mga set of questions natin for the game kit. Okay. Ayan, ito. Um, so again, I would like to remind everyone na ang game kit is a strategy game. So nasa inyo po kung paano nyo gagamitin the money that you earned when you uh, have correct answers. Okay, so every time you uh, see a question or uh, every time you answer the question, it will show you the shop, yung store, or continue. So if you click shop, if you have enough money, then you can power up. Like you can triple, double your money you earn when you have correct answers. Okay, try natin to. So in your, if you have a separate cell phone, you can use your cell phone to play. Go to gimkit.com slash play. So you don't need to have a gimkit account to play. So ang kailangan, kailangan nyo lang ay yung code. Okay, so classic tayo. And then ang gagawin natin, raise to $100. So whoever reaches $100 first wins. Ayan. So every correct. Oh, no, wala, wala pa pong code. <laughs> okay, so ito okay. lang, reminder lang sa game. So, ang, ang goal natin is to reach $100. Kung sino yung una makarating sa $100, siya po yung panalo, and the game ends. Okay? Now, ang starting cash for everyone is zero. And then, meron po tayong handicap na every wrong answer minus $1. Ayan, okay? So, yun lang po yung tandaan natin. Kung makapag... Pag may $10 na kayo, then... I suggest you go to the shop. Click nyo po yung shop. And then, uh, pili, kayong, pili kayo kung anong power up ang gusto nyo. Kung triple ba yung money for every correct answer or yung strict bonus, pwede rin yun. Bahala na kayong mag-strategize. So, hindi po siya, ano, hindi siya pabilisan, like, hindi po siya time constraint. It is money constraint. Okay? Ito na. Si Roland, walang game code. Ito na po. Makikita na po yung code. Ayan. So, our game code is 48846. So, go to gimkit.com slash play and enter the code 48846. You can use your phone if you want or another laptop. Pwede rin. And now, ayan, 10 players. Okay. So, Hindi po natin ma-accommodate lahat kasi ay ala, ang dami na. Okay. So pag nag-reach tayo ng 40, we'll start the game. So we have 38 players now. So game kit. Solid din ako kasi gusto ko rin maglaro. 
Ayan, so 41 players na. Sandali. <laughs> Your name. Ayan, so wholesome lang na pangalan na. Okay, let's go. Start the game. Pasensya na po sa hindi nakapasok. Watch na lang po tayo. So yung questions ay nasa laptop niyo. Tandaan niyo yung strategy ha. Go to shop to double your money. So, pwede ka mistake po to money per question. Pero mas madali niyo ma-reach ng item. Ayan, si Sir Roland. Nag-upgrade ng straight bonus. Ang Hazel. Nag-upgrade ng money per question. Sir Roland. Nag-upgrade ng straight bonus. Ayan, natapos. <laughs> Ayan, so ganun lang po. Ayan, yung, so ang ginawa ko, kaya ano, mabilis na uh, umabot sa $100 is I went to the shop and bought upgrades. So ganun lang siya. So kailangan yung strategy. So pag may $10 na kayo, you go to the shop, buy money per question, magiging, instead of $1 lang, magiging $5 na siya. And then as you continue to earn, pwede kayong bumili sa streak bonus para pag may straight kayong five answers, so may, may madadagdag na pera na mas malaki. So yun po ang game kit. So strategy lang po. Yan, 100 lang para mabilis. So you can try, ano, pwede hanggang 100,000, hanggang 1 million, depende po sa inyo yun. And there, if you've noticed, there are only eight questions sa game. So paulit-ulit lang pong bumabalik yun. It's repetitive. And uh, though hindi, siguro hindi conscious yung mga bata sa tanong, pero yung mga sagot na ikita nila, may mali, may, kasi pinapakita din yung correct answer. So next time na ma-encounter nila yung, pangala, uh, yung, yung tanong, they would know how to answer it. So ang anong nangyayari dito, pag paulit-ulit siya, nag, uh, the students gain mastery. Yan, uh, unconsciously, parang ganun. Kasi parang naging focus nila nga yung, yung goal ng game. So one goal is the, the money, and then the other goal is the time limit. So ganun din. Pwede rin yung all-in. So yung all-in na lahat, yung buong klase ay naka-umabot ng 1 million and then the game ends. So yun yung isang uh, goal ng game. Yan. Thank you po for playing. Okay, so that's our second game. Thank you very much, Ma'am Dang, for, for game kit. Okay, so um, ito yung intermission. Hopefully, magano na siya. Makikita na. I 
ain't tryna. I ain't tryna. I ain't tryna. Yeah, ain't tryna be cool like you. Wobbling around in your high heel shoes. I'm clumsy. Made friends with the floor. Two for one, you know a bitch by four. And two left feet, you know I always rob. First thing a girl did was a bop. And the whole damn cake and the cherry on top. Shook up the bottom and a good girl pop. You ain't even here to party. Can in the club tryna pipe a Barbie. I don't wanna go, go, go with the snow back. Then until I touch my toes. I don't wanna go, go, go to go. This full of rocks and I hope I go. Pick up yourself cause you know they go. I choo, choo, choo cause they hope. I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and a boss, I'm a shine like glass, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and a boss, I'm a shine like glass, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and a boss, I'm a shine like glass, I'm a bitch, I'm a boss, I'm a bitch and a boss, I'm a shine like glass. Galing, galing, galing. Nakita na? Yay, bravo. Hindi ko pa rin kasama ng Sir Roland, ha? Sexy ni Shea. May injury, sir. May injury. <laughs> great, sir. Great. Galing, galing. Okay. Oh, meron daw ano, mga susunod pa ng mga TikTok na gagawin ng CILP. Watch for that. And uh, our last presenter, Miss Judith, will present to us formative. Miss Judith. Hi, sir. Thank you, Paul. Good morning, everyone. So, four minutes before 12 o'clock. So, I will tell you this as uh, quickly as possible with Sabay uh, yung Demo with our game. So, I will share first my screen. Okay na po. Kita po ba? Opo. Nakikita ko, ma'am. Nakikita ko po. Okay. Thank you po. So, uh, the last uh, game assessment that we, on the web, on our web-based platforms uh, is formative. So, the the website or the URL for the website is goformative.com. So, uh, isasabay ko po yung tutorial, yung demo with the game. So before anything else, the great thing about Formative is that it is secure. It has, it's a secure site because when you sign up, this is especially for the, uh, the faculty of DASMA, you can sign up with your Microsoft account. So when you click on sign in with Microsoft or sign up with Microsoft, you would just input your email address and then you put input your password. So your account is already linked with Formative. So you can do that now if you have, if you would like. Uh, I will show you the game that I have made though, so we can start with um, the demonstration. So in order for us to be in celebration of Star Wars Day, yes, Star Wars Day yesterday, uh, I would like everyone to please go to this link, goformative.com/join, and enter the code. The great thing about Formative, you don't need an account if you're just going to be answering questions. So students, if they don't want to have another account or they don't want to uh, create an account, you can use the guest one. So everyone can be a guest. Now, if you have students on Formative already in the sign classes uh, and you have placed them in the classes, you can just give them the link and then they can click the, the quiz. So for now, I would like everyone to go to goformative.com slash join. And then enter the code DJJJA5. -A and then the quiz that you're going to be taking today is a Star Wars quiz. So again, uh, I, mga fan ng Star Wars, this is for you. Sa mga hindi fan, it's okay. We would still like you to uh, participate. Now, while you're taking the quiz or while your students are taking the quiz, you can look at the view responses. So when you look at the view responses, both Makikita nyo yung progress po ng bata. Um, so, we'll, you are all under guest response. Oh, so, we have already many participants. And then, so, pwede kayo sumagot. So, on the great thing about uh, when you're looking at the view responses is, you can see per question. So, there are six questions here. You can see per question the progress of the student. Um, 
later we will go over the kinds of questions and the kinds of uh, images or anything that can be uploaded for the quiz itself. So at the moment, R1, so the analytics here is really fast, automatic po siya. Makikita nyo kung sino po yung nagkatama at sino po yung nag uh, nagkamali um, based from the based from the data of the students who are taking it. So game for question number two, question number three, question number four. So wala po po nakapunta sa question number four because that this is a typing question. So it's the same as the one in school book. So nakikita nyo kung paano po magano in In real time po, nakikita nyo si Sir Rola nagta-type, si Sir Paul nakatype na po. Ay! There's ano, Sir Sir Paul, pasensya po. May buo po yung pangalan kasi ng name dapat. Pero I will edit that setting later. And then on five, there's a true or false question. And then on six, there's an essay question that uh, it, it could uh, that people can answer or the students can answer. So I'm an English teacher, so I always believe that there should be an open-ended response to many of the quizzes that I give in my formative and my summatives. So in the formative, it's unlike the first two um, platforms which were presented. Formative is actually very straightforward with its uh, objective. It's really just a way to see uh, how quiz, uh, how your students are doing in a certain topic for a certain class. So mag maganda po kasi dito is um, first you can make your own class here, so you can have a class. So I teach practical research one in high school. And then you can add students. So this is how you add your student. So you add one student. I took long. You can give them the you can give them the code, or you can manually add them, um, just in case those are the students who do not use the access code whatsoever and they forget to um, use it. At least you can have a record of them here, and then you can actually see if they are progressing or not. So at the moment, let's check our quiz again. Our responses for the quiz. Ayun po. So at the moment, there are 30, and then there are many who got it right. At the moment, it is 60%. So there are people who are still answering at the last part of the quiz. So going back, um, the great thing also about formative is you can make your own quiz as I made before. Or you can actually go to the library. So there's a library here. And then you can actually look for the different topics that you would like to get, uh, you would like to have if you don't want to make your own quiz. And it caters to all levels, so from kinder to un the university level. Uh, this is how I, I found um Dito po, this is the COVID quiz. So in this quiz, this is a grade seven quiz. Uh, I will give it to you the teacher uploaded pdf and they also embedded um they embedded videos here and then what they did is they they were able to place numbers for each question for each question and then they put it here on their widget and then each student will be able to answer it and then you can view the responses so i will also assign you this habang ginagawa niyo yan we can um we can uh, I will show how to set it up. So the join instructions here. So again, go formative.com slash join. And then this is the code CQDYDD. -D. So that is the code for the COVID quiz, if I am not mistaken. And then for those who would like to see how the quiz setup is, um, you can add your own content. So I made a sample quiz. I'm going to make a sample quiz to just to show you. So setup testing. So when you click the new content, you can add uh, anything basta nasa basic na basic na account. So you have your embed, you have your in image, you can have a text box, you have a video, you can have the whiteboard. And then the questions, the kinds of questions that are part of the basic um, account are the essay, the multiple choice, the short answer, the multiple selection, the show your work, or the true or false. Now, especially for the math teachers, this is very, very good for those who teach math because you can actually have a sh sh uh, show your work. You can have a show your work so you can input. So for example, what is five times 20? And then you can edit your background. 
have a sample. Digit four, eight, nine, ten. Five times twenty. Eight. And then, yun po. Oh. And then, yun po. Oh. So, yun. And then, you can add another one. Um, you can add true or false. You can add a multiple choice. You can add anything that you can help assess the progress of your students in your class, especially in remote learning. Um, if you want to add your own content for the basic, for the basic account, uh, it's limited to 20 pages only per month. So it is. Uh, if you if you would like to use like the handouts and the other things that you have found um, in your in your own resources, pwede naman po kaso twenty lang siya. And then you can actually like in school book you have a question bank as well, and then you can upload from the question bank. So yun po yung ano yung yun ang parang pinaka features for the quiz. Now you can also customize. So you can customize your header. You can make it a different color. You can also upload an image. Uh, for the Star Wars quiz, I made sure that I had an uploaded, um, I had an uploaded image. So when doing the quiz, when you are doing the one question, one answer, one question, it is best that you do in indicate the correct answer. So if you were to over check, check your work. So number one, the answer would be there are nine in the Skywalker saga, not eleven. Uh, they, Luke and Leia were twins. And then the first release was in 1990, uh, 1977, uh, New Hope was the first movie. And then 2009, this is why many of you got it wrong because I put the full answer. So if I were to add the, the answer, the, the Rise of Skywalker, many people would probably already get the correct answer. And then the true or false, uh, Harrison Force did uh, improvise the line with I know to Carrie Fisher's I love you. And then for the essay, you can check the work of your students um, when you are viewing their responses. So if we were to go to number six, our guest students, so 31. So if we go to, let's find Sir Roland po. Sir Roland. Ito, panalo po yung answer na to. Not a fan, grabe wala kong naisa dito. It's okay po, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang po yan, ma'am. So actually, this is a very good uh, topic for engagement. You can um, click on it, and then you can, as a teacher, you can give feedback. This is okay, ma'am. Understandable. <laughs> Understandable. So yun po yung uh, pinaka feature. So it's a very simple way in order for you to engage their learners in their uh, formative in, in gamification and in formative assessments. However, if under a certain topic, there are many um, quizzes, which you know, which Sir Irvin mentioned Kenina, uh, you're able to see the progress of one feature, I will show you the home page of it. One feature of, of the a formative is that you can see the, uh, the, the progress and then you can see which quizzes uh, or your competencies, kung saan mababa po yung student. And then that is when you can have intervention or you can, um, you know, you can intervene. So, yun po. So, it's not graded, you don't have to grade this, uh, but it's best that, you know, you at least keep the progress of it. So, uh, there is a pre yet. However, check it, parang for one teacher, it's around $13. And then the school can also avail of a formative account. Uh, it has to, to be 20 plus teachers who will be using it before uh, the features of the school can be used in formative. So at the moment, um, I noticed just one problem here. When it's form when it's formative, uh, parang mabago po siya mag load. So I have a hard time with my internet this morning. Usually I don't have a hard time with the internet. And it's having a hard time loading, especially when I'm in the webinar. It also has an embed code. I would like to show you the embed code. So we can do it in school book. However, I think for time's sake, I will uh, skip that part. And if there are any questions for formative, pwede naman po kayo magtanong. So, yun po. Uh, so, well, Sir Mao, hi, Sir Mao. Uh, so formative LaSalle email po ang kagamitin sa login. No, not necessarily because there are other 
um, options for that. There is Gmail, there is formative, uh, there is the Google account. I don't know if they're soft made. However, I do suggest that we use the platform or an email account that is safe or secure for uh, your students and yours to avoid um, malware and hacking. Can I use this separately from school book? Pwede po. Pwede, pwede po. Pwede siya i-embed, pwede siya i-ano, uh, embed. I can see if I can embed this one. Mabagal po lang talaga. Pero it's, you don't have to use it in school book exclusively. It can be done as a separate um, activity on an activity in remote learning. Uh, ito po yan eh. Share po. And then you can share a copy. And then you can copy to clipboard. There's also an embed count. I gave the embed code to Sir Roland earlier. So sa mga school uh, school book class Ng today's webinar, so you can see how it is embedded there. So, yun po, Sir Roland. So, standalone, okay. just send the code to the students. Po. Yes. So, just like GimKit, uh, you don't need to create an account for a formative to join the game. So, pwede po siyang, ano, pwede, pwede po siya sa classroom setting. Pwede rin siya kahit ngayon during ECQ. Um, you can have a virtual session with MS Teams and then you can play the game. Ayan, kung gusto nyo ng live play. Ayan, so maraming salamat po sa lahat ng nag-present. So, palakpakan po natin silang lahat. Pasensya na at uh, lumapas na tayo. <laughs> Thank you. So, thank you. Okay. Yeah, no. Last thank you. Thank you. Yeah, ito po yung you. I, uh, I just would thank like you, to share. Uh, access codes. Pakita ko lang. Ayan. Sabi ko nga, don't thank you po. Don't leave the seminar without the Thank access. you so much for the webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Ayan, so maraming salamat sa ating tatlong uh, Game Masters, Sir Irvin, Ma'am Dang, Ma'am Judith, for Thank you po. the very educational game shows. So tingnan natin uh, kung may apply natin sa so, klase, especially now sa ECQ. So ayan, para ma-break ma lang yung monotony ng uh, pagbasa ng lessons and uh, answering assessments. So let's give our students a, a break then. I'm sure they will enjoy it. So, ibari nyo na lang. Tingnan nyo kung ano yung mag apply And, uh, siguro some, uh, a few thoughts before we leave. So, unlike the, the regular quizzes that we give, pagdating sa games kasi, there's nowhere to go but up. So, ganun lang yun. And, uh, uh, they will try and try and try again and then uh, until they succeed. But without knowing it, na ma master na pala nila yung lesson. So yun ang pumapasok kasi yung fun and uh, enjoyment. And tips on game creation. So pag create ng game, start small. Hindi naman kailangan na 100 questions agad. So try, try lang. Uh, and then capitalize on your passion. Pangatlo, involve your students. Uh, kanina na ipakita ni Ma'am Dang yung gym kit collab. So that's where you can involve your students. They can uh, contribute in the in the questions in the creation of the questions and then experiment don't be afraid to to experiment so kung medyo pumalpak yung unang game natin okay lang yun let's try again uh, kasama dun sa <laughs> sa failure or sa mistakes yung yung fun so huwag magalala dun and then rethink assessments grades and failures most of all have fun and uh, a quote from Buddha, a happy person needs no commandments. So let's keep our students happy. Let's keep ourselves happy. Okay.